<clears throat> Welcome to the commencement ceremony for the class of 2023. We would like to begin. Would everyone please be seated? Good evening, platform guests, members of the faculty, parents, families, friends, and classmates. My name is Mohammed Udin, the Student Council President, and on behalf of the Concord High School Senior Board, and Concord High School's class of 2023. I would like to welcome you to the 54th annual commencement exercise of Concord High School. A professional photographer will take an individual picture of each graduate receiving a diploma. We ask that our guests stay in the stands during the entire graduation ceremony. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Concord's commencement ceremony is a formal and prestigious event. We please know that noisemakers, air horns, and similar devices are prohibited. We want, we expect, that the audience will act accordingly. Please allow each and every student to receive the attention and respect they deserve. Thank you for your cooperation. Will the members of the corral please come forward? And while they're setting up, will the audience please stand? And gentlemen, please remove your hats while our Concord Chorale sings our national anthem.
Concord graduates, please be seated. Good evening. It is my pleasure to introduce the platform guests who are joining us this afternoon. Please hold your applause until all of our guests have been introduced. To begin, Mr. Mark Mayer, the proud principal of Concord High School. Mr. Lincoln Holler, the superintendent of the Brainwine School District. Members of the Brandywine School District Board of Education, starting off with Mr. John Scrobot III, the President. Mr. Jason Heller, Vice President. Mr. Ralph Ackerman. Mrs. Karen Gordon. Mrs. Kristen Pigeon. Reverend Shanika Perry. Mrs. Kimberly Stock, Dr. Lisa Lawson, the Assistant Superintendent of the Brandywine School District, and also our senior speakers, Tasina Khan, Miles Bly, Ashiana Patel, and Mira Ratnagiri, and also myself, Mohammed Udin. Ladies and gentlemen, again, it is my pleasure to introduce the principal of Concord High School, Mr. Mark Mayer. Thank you, Mohammed. At this time, I would ask that all Concord High School Staff, please stand so we can officially thank you. It is my honor to be here today to celebrate with the class of 2023. Today is, it, is the culmination of four years of hard work and planning. From your first day at Concord High School and every year after, we have asked you to give 100% every day, to embrace each other's differences, to get involved, and to push your thinking of something new. So today, I challenge you to continue to set high goals for yourself. Continue to do those things that frighten you. In the words of Harriet Tubman, every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember, you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars, to change the world, Congratulations to the class of 2023. I am so very proud of each and every one of you. 2020, our world was brought to a screeching halt and our dreams of a normal high school experience were put on hold. As sophomores, we faced the challenge of a virtual year, missing out on the vibrant energy of hallway conversations and sporting events. Yet, we found solace in virtual hangouts and adapted to online learning. Masks became a daily necessity, and Zoom became a lifeline, connecting us to our classmates and our teachers. Despite the disruptions and the constant longing for normalcy, we persevered and rose above the challenges. We became experts in navigating change, and yet, when we returned to normalcy, nobody was quite sure how it would work out for us. We returned to the halls of Concord High School, not just ready to embrace our senior year, 
but to make it our own. Our setbacks became stepping stones, and we collectively refused to have our high school experience be defined by unprecedented times and general sympathy. Against all odds, we decided that we were all in. We didn't wait for our senior year to be created for us. We didn't wait for the invite. We created the events and we showed up. We brought back spirit days. Travis and Kirsten know all about those. We hosted the first ever winter ball and morp. We put on a 48 hour musical directed by our own students, Sasha and Mary. We organized blood drives, brought back DECA dodgeball. We took Concord to states with not just our sports teams, but our math league, science Olympiad, TSA, DECA, marching band, and educators rising. If there was an opportunity, we took it. And if there wasn't, we made that opportunity possible. We are more than just a school. We are truly one Concord, one community. And none of that happens without the diverse tapestry of our graduating class that I am so proud to be a part of. We are a collection of passionate individuals with unique backgrounds and interests. We are the National Honor Societies, the Black Student Union, the Gay Straight Alliance, the Asian American Club. We are mentors and students and student council advocates speaking up for a better Concord. Together, we and empathy. We have proven that we can make the most of any situation, that we can find joy amidst chaos, and that there is not one reason to doubt us. While we may not ever be, control, be able to control what is to come, we are the architects of our own destiny. We have discovered an inner strength that knows no bounds, and as we step into the next chapter of our lives, we carry these lessons with us, reminding ourselves that we can overcome any challenge, just like we did at Concord. Class of 2023, we did it. We really did it. We turned something awful into something so beautiful, so impactful, so imp Seniors who have maintained a perfect 4.0 grade point average during their entire high school career. The title of valedictorian is the highest academic honor that Concord High School can bestow. It is my pleasure to recognize the 2023 senior class valedictorians. It is a Concord High School tradition that each valedictorian shares with the audience a person in their lives who has been an inspiration and influenced them along the way. They have written special dedications which can be found in today's program. We ask that all audience please hold your applause as I introduce each valedictorian, they will stand along with their recognized and honored guest. First, Ethan Anders and recognized guest, Dr. Jordan Estock. Adam Barissa and recognized guest, Mrs. Shannon Barissa. Jack Hanlon II, recognized guest, Miss Jillian Bacon. Jillian Haverly and recognized guest, Mrs. Debbie Jones. Nicholas Henry and recognized guest, Junis Reyes. Charles Lynch and recognized guest, Mr. Glenn Runyon. Ian McTurk and recognized guest, Mr. Derek Thomas. Tally Newsom and recognized guest, Mr. Jeff Langrier. Mary O'Toole and the recognized guests, Mrs. Leslie Wagner. Ashiana Patel and recognized guests, Dr. Kerry Riches. Colin Pia and recognized guests, Mrs. Gail Pease. Jared Roman and recognized guests, Mrs. Julia Overly. Brandon Tang and recognized guests, Mrs. Cynthia Leppert. Tony Zhang and recognized guests, Mrs. Daniel Rossi. Alex Zhang and recognized guests, Mr. Sean Walsh. Congratulations.
Sorry, Michael Pollins. Thank you. Please be seated. This evening, you will also hear two valedictorian representatives who will speak about an influential person in their life. First will be Miles Bly, followed by Mira Ratnagiri. Miles Bly, will you come to the podium? It's been a while since I was the new kid at Mount Pleasant Elementary School, but I still remember the feeling of nervousness. What I really appreciated and still feel to this day was the unlimited kindness and compassion of the amazing person who welcomed me. Someone who embodies the kind of general wonderfulness that makes you start wishing or trying to be more like that yourself. This person, whose excellence I'm still chasing, was my third grade teacher, Mrs. Maria Cobb. My time with Ms. Cobb was delightful and transformative. She was attentive to our individual needs, offered inspiring incentives, and we must have set a field trip world record. No one has made learning more enjoyable. Mrs. Cobb, I haven't forgotten how you spent even your free time working with us, sparking and fueling our interest in advanced math. And by advanced math, I mean things like fractions. <laughs> Mrs. Cobb, your dedication is why whenever someone asks, who's your favorite teacher? Even now, a decade later, your smiling face immediately comes to mind. I remember thinking as I rode home on the last day of third grade that you might be the best teacher I'll ever have. So, to the teacher who serves as a model of the kind of person I one day hope to be, Mrs. Cobb, thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce Mira Ratnagiri. Thank you, Miles. As he puts his foot up against the wall and leans back and forth, he asks the weekly question of what is everyone doing this weekend? Never in my educational career has a teacher asked me consistently about my weekend. Such a simple question, yet it has never failed to brighten my day. For those of you who have never had the pleasure of meeting him, Mr. Peters loves three main things in no particular order, college sports, his family, and his students. He ensures that each and every student has the opportunity to succeed, not only in his class, but in any avenue of life. Whether that be bragging about his knowledge of super PACs while we study for our government test, or rattling off facts about stress levels and social media of teenagers, which we, he learned from his podcast, he is eager to help in any way he can. I always wonder how he greets his groggy high school students at 7.30 in the morning with so much energy and enthusiasm. While he may say it is because he woke up at 5 a.m. and ran three miles before even coming to school, which he never lets us forget, it is in larger part due to his love for his students and involvement in their growth. This same enthusiasm was only taken away the day after his favorite team, Tennessee, lost to Georgia. It's okay, Mr. Peters. <laughs> Throughout my time at Concord, I have spent more time in Mr. Peters' classroom than any other classroom, whether he wanted us there or not, most of the time not. Every time I entered his classroom, whether we were learning about statistics, writing an essay, playing Just Dance, or complaining about our grades, I always left in a better mood. More than a math teacher, he is a mentor, a friend, and the biggest supporter for his students. So, what am I doing this weekend, Mr. Peters? I'm graduating high school. Thank you for making high school, dare I say, enjoyable. I will be forever thankful for you. 
Thank you. And now, Mr. Mayor, we'll return to the podium. Well, I'll be honest with you, typically I, I stick to the script. But you know, sometimes the best laid out plan, you gotta be flexible and responsive, and I wanna make sure I do things right and make things right. So just, I wanna take a moment to make sure that we recognize uh, one of our valedictorians, Michael Pollins, please stand and special guest, Mr. Kyle Gaffney. Sorry. Thank you, I appreciate it, everybody. Mr. Holer and members of the Board of, Edu Board of Education of the Brandywine School District and guests, I hereby certify that the students assembled before you have successfully completed the requirements for a diploma from the state of Delaware, the Brandywine School District, and Concord High School. The faculty and I present to you the 54th graduating Concord High School class of 2023. Please be seated. With Mr. John Scrobot III, President of the Brandywine School District Board of Education, please come to the podium. Good evening, friends, families, guests, and most importantly, graduates. Today is your day, one milestone in a long list of many more achievements to come. On behalf of the Brandywine School District Board of Education and the State of Delaware, it's my honor and pleasure to accept this class of Concord High School, class of 2023. The awarding of the diplomas will now commence. To the families here tonight, we share both your pride and excitement with respect to our students' accomplishments. Again, we ask that the audience to please accord this ceremony the prestige and dignity that it truly deserves. Please respect each graduate as they receive their diploma and allow each family member to hear their child's name when announced. Thank you. Mr. Lincoln Holler, Superintendent of the Brandywine School District. Mr. John Scrobot III, President of the Board of Education and members of the Board of Education. Please jo join us in recognizing and congratulating our graduates. Dr. Riches, Dr. Royster, Mr. Waite, Mr. Bernard, and Ms. Jackson will announce the names of our graduates. We will begin with the valedictorians and, and students on stage. Announcing their names will be Assistant Principal Dr. Carrie Riches. Miles Bly. Mira Ratnagiri, AP Capstone Diploma Recipient. Ashiana Patel, AP Capstone Diploma Recipient. Ethan 
Marshall Anders. Go to the X. Adam Barisa. Jack E. Hanlon the second. Jillian Dale Haverly. Nicholas Henry. Charles Joseph Lynch. Ian Stewart McTurk. Tally Newsome. Mary O'Toole. Colin Augustus P.A. Michael David Pollins. Jared Kirkpatrick Rollman. Brandon Austin Tang. Alex Zhang. Tassine Akan. Mohamed Udin, AP Capstone Diploma recipient. Alden Smith. Hard. Okay, I got you. Jamal Abbas. Jalen Allen Abel. Shaylen Adams, right? Shaylen Adams. Amari Smith. Shabomi Adedeji. Ilham Alam. Miguel Alcantara. Adriana Mariah Alston. Paul Ramon Alston. Grace Kelly Althaus. Timothy Robert Anderson. Nandi Ashedu. Kelsey Lynn Atkinson.
Caitlin Jennifer August. Adriana Marie Avendano. Faradun Ayazi. Trinaya Marche Bays. Brett Barlow Pollock. Haja Asmika Berry. Kevin Nathaniel Barrow. Kasim Theodore Bachman. Tanner Bell. Yassine Benini. Alexa Grace Benton. Emily Patricia Benton. Kira Alexis Born Bay. Kirsten Patricia Bowen. Bridget Ann Brewster. Jason Wu Brigham. Zana Brown. Isaiah Brown. Jabri Brown. Nalasia Brown Matthews. Jordan Bullock. Yahur Burlock. Giovanna Caldera. Nakai Camille. Mackenzie Ryan Camp. Diana Nashe Carter. Avella Paige Katana. Lana Chim. Jordan Alexis Cipolla. Shakur Chambers. Andrew William Collins. Rachel Caldwell Conti. Benjamin Cooper. Isaiah Cooper. Hotel. 
Fratelli. Tahir Corbin. Rocco Steven Cotelli. Yasin Crawford. Liam Joseph Cregan. Paige Crosslin. Israel Daniels. Nasir Yassin Davenport. Zachary Defoe. Dominique Davis. How do you say the first name? Junius. George D. Hall. Junius Antonio Dez. <laughs> Stephanie Grace Deal. <laughs> Jamir Dixon. <laughs> Ahmad Drummond. Colin Mark Eggleston. Isaac Judah Everett. Callie Ann File. Laney Grace and Andres. Florman Caden. Alec Foster. Ellen Fox. Chandler French. Isabella Ruth Gatta. Tiernan Gloner. Eva Nicole Goodson. <laughs> Ty Gordon. Shane Gorman. Jarena Green. Jayla Vanessa Garrell Fleming.
Ed Gordon Green. September Renee Greer. Quentin Michael Hall, AP Capstone Diploma Candidate. Tanasia Andrea Heyman. Alexis J. Harris. Darius Aziz Harrison. Brendan Edward Heller. Catherine Henretti. Cameron Olivia Hicks. Brandy Malie Howell. Trinity Nevea Jackson. Cyrune Jayanthi. Namaya Johnson. Zakaya Nadira Johnson. Aiden Scott Johnson. Savannah Lene Jenkins. Michaela Nayara Jones. Amir Hamza Khan. Shad Kuwat. Lucy Maria Kingham. Nakia Katari. Miranda Paige Laffer. Henry G. Lamb. Jada Victoria Lamborn. Jahir Lancaster. Yasir Laws. Harrison Samuel, Samuel Levithan. Eric Lewis. Joseph Lewis. Andrew Lee. Nikki Leapis. Carly Elizabeth Logan. Jaden Derek Logan. Timothy Dominic Lounsbury. Junru Lu. Zamir Xavier Lucas.
Marco Lorenzo Abad Makabuag. Priya Mans. Angelos Banginas. Kathleen Lillian Marciani. Robert Marcusi Santiago. Kayla Valencia McDonough. Liliana Lucille McFadden. Abigail McGinnis. Fantasia McCamey. Daisha McKee. Sean McMullen. Jeffrey McNulty. Ryan Melton. Devin Ann Michelli. Akimaj Miller. Kamei Tayana Mitchell De Silva. Connor N. Monahan. Monir Hossein. Jason Ryan Mooney. Gabriel Orlando Mora. Nair Moses. Ardona Maluka. Sean Mulligan. Destiny Dana Murray. Nashe Nixon. Jaden Lee Noel. Miriam Adetabike Apelago. David Pasidi. Evan Nehemiah Parker. Hey, James. Dylan James Paris. Aiden Michael Patrick. Dakota Alexis Patrick.
Opalina Poldell, AP Capstone Diploma Candidate. Rocco Peachy. Rebecca Lee Pierce. Aiden Keith Penna. Sarah Pettit. Timothy Pettit. Then Bomb. James Harvey Phipps. <laughs> Hannah May Powell, AP Capstone Diploma Candidate. <laughs> Kayla Ann Pyle. Olivia Marie Rafferty. Esanula Ragbat. Talal Raman. Brianna Renee Simone Reardon. <laughs> Presley Jane Remper, AP Capstone Diploma Candidate. Abigail Rose Redunda. Stephen Michael Romeo. Matthew Maxwell Ross. Aubrey Aaron Rush, AP Capstone Diploma Candidate. Adam Santiago Gutierrez. Eugenia Nicole Sarkor. Petsaboom Siasen. Naeem Rashad Scruggs. <laughs> Hannah Segerstrom. Gianna Marie Smale. Amanda Marie Smetkowski. Addison Devere Smith. Miles Smith. Bilkis Sonnebear. Yeah. 
Faith Starshia. Andrew David Stein. Egypt Sites. Sienna Takforian. Corey Justin Thomas. Nathan Trumbull. Michael Stephen Trungle. Justin Ugorji. Jillian Nicole Vandenbrack. Akeem Ahmad Jamal Vault. <laughs> Shanelise Marie Vega. Madison Bell Vincent. Cynthia E. Weaver. Mackenzie Elizabeth Wankowitz. Dylan Westfall. Dallas Vaughn Y. Grace Victoria Wicken. Sharif Wicks Tillery. Anthony C. Whittleson. Autumn Nicole William. <laughs> Sumeya Asia William. Come on. Chanel Mystique Wynn. Ryan Mark Worthington. Ireland Beta Yoder, AP Capstone Diploma Candidate. Sasha Marie Yost. Alexander Zabari.
Will members of the corral please come forward at this time?
Thank you, Ms. Maharas and members of the Corral. Well, Tassine Akhand, our senior class speaker, please come forward. Good evening. My junior year, Ms. Bacon assigned me to be the drum major for the marching band. I was absolutely terrified. And I remember messaging her to tell her that she made some kind of mistake, because I didn't even apply for the position. <laughs> I had such little experience, but she convinced me to take on this huge responsibility that I didn't even think I was ready for. I took a chance and I stuck through. And that allowed me to gain the confidence to stand in front of you all today. That decision allow also allowed me to watch our Golden Raider marching band perform some of the most amazingly talented shows. And it was during those performances that I really learned to appreciate how important it is to finish strong. No matter what happened in the middle, what mattered most in any of those shows was to always finish strong. Sound familiar? Every day for the past four years, we have all heard our proud principal, Mr. Mayor, on the announcements wrap up with the daily reminder to finish strong. And here we are, class of 2023, we have done just that. We have finished strong. We earned it. And looking around tonight, we have our friends, our family, our loved ones, our teachers. We're grateful, happy, proud, exhausted, relieved, and maybe even take, taking some time to think about how hard it was to get here and how much we've truly changed since we began. While tonight is great, this is not our final finish line. The truth is, we have a lot more finishes to go. We're all sitting together, but from here, our roads are different, and they're going to take us to many different places. However, this is not a competition. Society tries to tell us that success is measured by a high GPA or how popular you are, but that's not the case anymore, and it never was. As we move on with our own journey and start our new course, heading to the next finish line in our own lives, it's important for us to remember that true success is when we can influence those around us in a positive way. Each and every single one of you have your own dreams and aspirations, right? And they're different. So why should we compare our goals to others? It's dumb. All that matters is that we set our own course and do the best that we can and give it every ounce of effort so we can truly finish strong. And I think about how easy it is to say, finish strong, but to really live it, to choose it. Well, that's not so easy, but it is possible. And I know that because of my parents. My parents immigrated here from Bangladesh for my family, and I don't think my story is that different from many of yours here tonight. My dad arrived with nothing but a little bit of cash in his pocket, and he has worked tirelessly ever since. He put himself to college, finish line, he started his own business, finish line, and he and my mom sacrificed everything and constantly motivated me, staying up late hours to teach me math, encouraging me to never ever give up. And well, here I am, surprising them as a speaker at graduation. So, mom, dad, I owe this finish line to you. And my promise to you, is that I'm not done. None of us are. We're just getting started. There's work ahead and podiums to climb. But for now, tonight, we're going to go ahead and enjoy this moment. We're going to refuel, readjust our coordinates, and celebrate the end of a long, long race. A race that we all did together. This, Concord, this is our finale. In a couple of minutes, we'll turn those tassels right to left, and that moment is the beautiful closer of our final performance as Raiders. Mark this moment as not an end, but a new start. 
a new beginning filled with endless possibilities. Ready, class of 2023? We have prepared for this moment. We have set ourselves up for success and a strong future. Now all that's left is to go and propel ourselves towards our next finish line. Thank you everyone and congratulations class of 2023. Now I'd like to invite our proud principal, Mr. Mayor, to the podium. All righty. Will the graduates of the class of 2023 please stand? Now that you have received your diplomas, you may move your tassels from right to left, symbolizing that you are now <laughs> a graduate of Concord High School. It is with great deal of pride that I say to you, congratulations, class dismissed.